another video. So, what we got going on here today? We got chicken strips made by me. And then we got corn and broccoli. We got some butter sauce. And some butter sauce. Just some regular butter and garlic. Need a drink of this water. Y'all always... Every time... I do my chicken strips, I put red hot in it. And they turn out phenomenal. Yeah, you need no salt. Mm. I've been wanting this corn and broccoli with some butter sauce. Like, when I check my blood pressure, my blood pressure be fine. Mm, you might be allergic. Well, you still gonna eat? <laughs> mm. well, I usually eat a lot of it when I do eat it. Why is too freaking much? Mm-hmm. It's been so good, though. Yeah, these chicken strips is banging. This is our first meal of the day. Yeah, I just realized that. I'm like, dang, this is our first meal of the day. That's why we eating. We into it. I don't even know. I don't miss a bee. Mm. How y'all doing today? On this beautiful day. I don't know what day I'm gonna eat this video. Barbie. What's today? Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm adding one today. It'll probably be. Thursday. No, I might I might go ahead and drop it tomorrow. Hey, get you some chicken shit, babe. When you about to eat them all? No, I ain't even hardly eating. But um I forgot what was I saying? About uploading the video. Yeah, I forgot. But anyway, I'm just asking how how y'all doing today? On this beautiful day. Y'all love waking up and the sun just shining so bright. It's, it's just, so pretty. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I'd do if I lived somewhere that was warm all the time. Like Florida or California. It would be like everything to me. Mm -hmm. I would love it. That's what we don't really got, y'all. I wouldn't be able to stay in a place like that. What? I wouldn't be able to stay in a place that's like constant heat because... It ain't like always hot though. It'd be nice. Because I'm the type of person... I have to like 
be able to embrace fall and winter time. As cold as it can get, it's mm. still my favorite times of the year. Mm-mm. I'm good. I love the summer and fall type weather. I don't care for the winter. I can wake up and go to the beach when I want to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's living right there. In the sun, you know you wake up in the sun shining. It's like, oh, I love that. It's so beautiful. I love that, but I don't think I'll be able to have it every single day. Like, I want to be able to have my fall and my winter. You can have fall because it, it gets cool. Just because... But, and, like, same for spring and summer. I love spring and I love summer. I have to have all four of them. A good balance of them, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm good with spring, summer, and fall. They can have winter. They can have it. Like, this year, we we haven't had much of a winter. I think yesterday was the coldest it got. I think the high was like 20 or something like that. But yeah, I don't think we had much of a winter because fall started so early. And I was checking on the news like all September. I was like, okay, so October the 4th, it's going to get cold. No later than October the 6th, it's going to get cold. And I was right because I would check the news and would say, 70 degrees on November, I mean, October. Did I say November? You said before that? that? I said October, October. before that. Okay. I, October the 4th, it was supposed to be the first, like, cool day. It was supposed to be, like, 80 degrees. Next day, it was supposed to be 70. And then the next day, which would have been October the 6th, would have been, like, 70, borderline 60. And I was just like, oh, my gosh, I cannot wait. All September, it was so hot. And, like... You know how, like, you'll have your days in September where it'll be, like, not too hot because it's hurricane season? Yeah, we didn't get none of that. It was hot all September, and it's almost hotter than August. So, mm -hmm. yeah. It started cooling down the end of October. Mm -hmm. But it warmed back up. It was weird. Like, after, after like, October the 6th, it was cool from then on. It it didn't get no no more than eighty. It didn't get no more than eighty. And from then on, it was like fall weather. And then it like after we got like two full weeks of fall weather, and then after that it was winter. It was like thirty degrees. It was really cold. So yeah, that's my type of weather though. I can't wait for this vacation. I'm getting full, y'all. We're actually going to make two videos today. This okay. is going to be one, and then we got another one. So we're going to be wearing the same clothes. Don't hate. I took a bath today. So. How you know we're going to be wearing? I was going to change. Oh, you were? No, I took a bath on. Y'all, I want to recommend this show to y'all on Netflix. If you're trying to watch something new, you like reality TV, go on Netflix and watch The Circle. That show. Yeah, is it? Man, I, I wish first, I could go in there. Like Me too. At first, you're going to be like, okay, the first episode seems kind of whack. Yeah. But it's because you're getting to know everybody. But after, like, the second episode, shit you'll gets be, real. Yeah, and you you'll be, be into, into it. it. You'll get the concept of yeah. the game. Mm-hmm. So, y'all, I'm the type of person, if the first episode ain't good, I don't even want to see it. So, I'm glad I kept on watching. Mm -hmm. It was really good. She don't even get though. What else come, have we watched? We need to A Fall of Grace. Yeah, we haven't watched Power yet. This week's uh, episode of Power, but um, what was it? What, what? what was it called? The movie. 
A Fall of Grace. Yeah, we watched that. It was good. I'm glad he gave, uh, what's her name? The the leading lady. I'm glad he Don't gave her. Don't say nothing because not everybody might have seen it. I'm not. I'm not going to tell nothing. Okay. But I'm just glad he gave her a leading role because she's a very good actress. I love her in the haves and have nots. And I've never watched the haves and have nots. And she, she's, I'm glad she got that, that, mm-hmm. that role. And. But I'm tired of people on Facebook spilling uh, Powers tea. And yeah, that's why I don't, I don't go like, there. Like that's why I barely even been wanting to get on there because everybody is like spoiling the stuff. Like yeah. why do you have to spoil what everybody else hasn't seen? Y'all did my eyebrows yesterday. That's why I'm going there, especially got my eyebrows back together. If it's a movie or something that's out and people talking about it, I don't go on social media. Well, Facebook. Yeah, I'm a Facebook friend. They can get ready to tell up her name. If you look at my at the last few videos we had, probably about three videos ago, my eyebrows were thick. It's because I was like growing them out, um, so I can get them back together. So yeah. Jesus, gonna talk about her on the topic. You well, ain't hardly eating none of these chicken strips. Ain't that much luck. It's because I can't. Dip I feel like it. I ate all of them, y'all. You know I like the dip. They good, different. ain't they though? They are. They better than the ones I had last time. I think they are better whenever you like. They're not as thick, like when you half them. Cause I have these, and they're actually really good. And really, I'm really not that hungry. My like, and my appetite is all over the place. You want well, this last? One? Yeah, yeah. Man. Mm, butter sauce got me a little dizzy. Mm. Yeah, don't eat no more. But, um, yeah. What, what's another show? What's something else we watch? Oh, on Netflix. The... Oh, yeah. That was really good. <laughs> what? Queen and AJ. Oh, no. I wouldn't even say. I wouldn't. I'm going to say the shows I watched that you haven't seen. But, um, that's too. Uh, AJ and the Queen. Y'all need to watch that. That's that was funny. really good. And it's like, it was, uh, it's you can out. watch it in pretty much, I say a day, that's when we watched it in. It's a RuPaul show. Yeah. But it's not what I expected, because at first I was like, I don't want to watch this, because I'm like, I thought it was going to be just another, like, drag queen type deal. Yeah. not saying I don't like drag queens, but I'm saying, like, I yeah. thought it was going to be some mediocre ass show, so. That curse you. <laughs> but, um, Yeah. I thought it was going to be mediocre, but it actually turned out to be really good. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. Um, what else in the help? The Aaron Hernandez uh, documentary on Netflix. You it? Yeah, I haven't finished it, though. Yeah, I don't watch it. But, um, it's really good. And, uh, what's another one that I watched? Um, The Cat Killer. Oh! Movie. Don't F with cats on Netflix. Y'all need to watch that. I can't watch that type of stuff, y'all. No, it's not. It's it's not. I mean, it shows like the clip that was going around the internet, but it don't show everything. It's basically of the people who's trying to catch this dude who killed this cat, these cats on video. That, I'm telling y'all, y'all need to watch that. That's a really good documentary. It's like, it will have y'all like, with y'all mouth open the whole time. Because that's how I was. It was like a lot of twists too, and they were trying to figure out who this dude was. And they was thinking it was this one person, and he he ended up using this dude off his porn site uh, photo. Really good. Y'all need to watch that, especially if you went to like mystery murder type stuff where they're trying to figure out who did what. Bomb. Bomb. Oh, then we watched. We watched a lot of TV, TV this weekend. But yeah. Uh, on Lifetime. Uh, K- Kamaya. Oh, uh, yeah, Kamaya Mobley. Yeah, Kamaya Mobley's uh, movie. What do you think about that? Man, I don't even want to talk about the book. Let me get your take on it first. Okay. First of all, I've been really like... Mm-hmm. First of all, I've been really like sour towards the situation. From the beginning, like, before the whole movie came out, I followed it. And I've seen, like, the court videos and stuff. 
and like I also seen like the videos from 1998 whenever her mom was like crying on TV saying like bring her daughter back man that lady honestly I don't think she should have got as long as she did like 18 years which is what she got about the same amount of years as um that she had Kamaya and like I don't think she should have got that long but also like she don't I feel like she don't have no remorse for anything and I feel like the movie was a try to redeem her type of movie and I didn't like that because it's pretty much a slap in the face to not only the the mother but the father as well but the father I feel like he gets more love from Kamaya or um Alexis than the mom because like she was saying how as soon as she met her dad it was like, oh, daddy. But the reason why she was like that is because she never really had a dad. But she treats her real mom like that because she has. She, she feels like she has a mom already. Yeah. But I just feel like it's really messed up. And I don't feel like she has enough respect for her mom. But I feel like her mom should also understand that, like, this is the woman that raised her. And she can't just cut her off completely. So, right. that's my take on it. And then, yeah, I feel like, because Kamaya, she was involved with making the movie or whatever. And I feel like a lot of it was... Try to redeem her. Yeah, it was yeah, like sugar-coated and made to be pretty. And like, saying like her... her I know she's not calling the her. kidnap mama. You know. I know she's not on the phone. Sorry, babe, sorry. I know that Kamaya, every time she talked to her um, not biological mom, that every time she's on the phone with her, she's like, oh, you need to try to get your, to know your mom That's more. what I was about to say. There's no fucking way because I promise you, when I seen her in the court, she had a little smirk on her face. She didn't have no remorse for that shit. All she cared about was getting a, having, having a baby of her own. Right. And oh yeah, by the way, I am, I feel bad about how she had her miscarriage and everything, but... Yeah, they don't give you the right to take somebody's kid away from them. No, definitely not. And, yeah, it was basically, like, sugar-coated and made to put the mom that kidnapped her into a better light than, you know, oh, she kidnapped this child or whatever. And it's sad, like, could you imagine your child being taken from you and then you finally find her and she's, like... Doesn't, get, doesn't mess with you or nothing? I already got a mama, you know? Yeah. So I can see why her mom is like, and then, you need to stay away from her. But I think her mom was saying, I wish that she never even came back. And I don't think she's wrong for saying that because from what is being said, Kamaya has no respect for her real mom. And it's messed up because all these years she's had all these birthdays for her and has always remembered her. That's sad, man. It's really messed up. Yeah. It's like she wrote her mom off completely because... She's already got a mom, but she messes with her dad and her her siblings from her dad. Yeah. But she don't mess with the siblings from her mom, from what I've seen. She didn't even yeah, go see her on the thing. So it's sad to see. Really. And then also, but, I feel like the only reason why she moved to Florida was to be closer to her foster mom, which I get that, but also. And then. And it's crazy because she looks like her. She looks just like her dad, but she, you can tell she act like her mom. mom. She sound like her mom, her biological mom. She sound like her, and she like you know just the Everything. her demeanor, like you know, she's like her mom all over again. And it's crazy that they don't that she don't get along with her. And she that's that's had to be heartbreaking, man. And her mom said she said when they was in court, she was like, "I am your mom, Kamaya." Mm -hmm. I am your mother. And, like, it's true. That's her mother. And, and then, it's just a whole mess up situation. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't feel like they should have had Niecy Nash to play that role. I feel like they should have had somebody that we don't know. Like, you know, just starting out. Because we're like... They might have some backlash on her for even playing that role. Like, no, do I you mean, agree with it type thing? No, not that, because, you know, it's money. It's a job. I just feel like we know Nisa Nash, so we're going to, like, 
we see Niecy Nash and we know she's a good actress and stuff and we kind of like, you know, got a soft spot for Niecy Nash. So we like her. You know, people like her. That's the agenda. They're trying to get it to where... You know, so... I mean, not. I mean, you know, she's she's a good actress, and you see, you don't see her, but you still see her. You know, you know. I don't know if I'm coming. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but it, I. That's how I took it. Like they should have had somebody that we didn't know, so it won't be no. It was you. Feel we like, wouldn't have no connection to the actress because of who she is. No, nah, because I, I as much as I love her, no I was still sitting there. I told Baby from the beginning. I said. Fuck this! I know that this doc, this movie is gonna be a redeem, uh, her the mom that didn't raise her yeah, type of movie. Redemption. Redemption. And like I said, I don't agree with her getting as long as she does in jail. But also, I mean that's what it is. Yeah. Well, I yeah. She I, still I, kidnapped the baby, whether I, she had a good life or not. I was waiting to see that movie, but uh, I, I didn't agree with it. I knew it wasn't going to be right because if she didn't work with the dad or the mom for the movie, I know she worked with the dad, but if she didn't work with the mom for the movie, then... And then also, they try to... I'm telling you, they sure coded the heck out of certain stuff. Like, Kamaya got on the phone with her and she was like... uh, Her mom was like... Why did you uh get on the news and pretty much say that you still love your uh oh, yeah. boss mom, blah, blah, blah. She's like, I'm sorry, but I know good and well I could tell that Alexis Kamaya is very feisty. She did that's not how it went. She probably got smart with her mom. Yeah, I didn't I didn't mean to hurt your feelings and mm -mm. I, I didn't know what say that. Uh uh. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. And then she Y'all need to watch us. Y'all have I'm, we don't wanna tell everything. Now. One more thing. When I watch behind the scenes uh, Kamaya was like to my to my biological mom. She thinks that I have Gloria written all over me. But your biological mom is right. Yeah, she's saying like that's the reason they don't get along or whatever. Cause she everything she do or whatever she has Gloria written all over her. She does. Mm -hmm. I mean, which I mean she raised her, so that's to be expected. But that could also be another reason why she don't mess with her biological. She still mom. act like that mama to me, her biological mom, like just the way they talk and like. Cause Gloria, she might be like, oh no, don't attitude. see your biological mom. So who knows? But yeah, that's our review on all the shows. My hair is a mess. I need to, I need to get it cut. We about to wrap it up, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all new, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and um, hit the bell if you if you like our bell. videos, so you can be notified when we post and share and share.